Hey everyone, it's Khakis and Tape, and welcome to part 2 of my Genshin Impact Pity System explanation. About a month ago, I made a video explaining the Genshin Impact Pity System, and pretty much ever since, I have been getting tons of comments and questions asking about the Pity System and how it all works. So to hopefully answer some of the questions I got, I decided to make this video. If you have not seen my original video, I highly suggest going back to watch that one first, as it does explain the majority of the basics of the pity system. The link to that video will be down in the description. Also, it's important for you guys to know that I do stream on Twitch on Tuesday and Thursday mornings and on some weekends. So if you want to come hang out or if you just want to ask me more questions about the pity system, feel free to click the link in the description and hit that follow button so you know when I go live. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So to start it off, let's do a quick recap of everything I covered in my first video about Pity. Pity is a game mechanic in gacha games that tells you when you are guaranteed a 4 star or 5 star item within a certain number of rolls. In Genshin, you're guaranteed a 4 star item every 10 wishes and a 5 star item every 90 wishes. Also, it's important to know that Pity between all the banners are completely separate meaning you cannot use 70 wishes on the standard banner and then use 20 wishes on the limited time banner to guarantee the 5 star from 90 wishes. All 90 wishes have to be on the same banner to reach pity. Also, there's a theoretical soft pity for 5 star items around 75 wishes. This means it is widely thought that after 75 wishes, you have a slightly higher chance of getting a 5 star, but you are not guaranteed a 5 star until you hit that 90 wish mark. Okay, before we get too deep into the more complicated topics, I wanted to cover some of the more basic mechanics that some people were confused about after my last video. One mechanic is the fact that pity on the limited time banner does carry over when the banner changes. So let's say you got Ganyu on the previous limited time banner, and then did 50 more wishes before the banner switched to the Zhao banner. Because pity carries over, you would still have 50 out of 90 wishes going towards your 5 star pity on the Zhao banner. The second mechanic I wanted to talk about is how pity resets. After my last video, it seemed there was some confusion about how to correctly keep track of your pity. To keep it simple, all you have to do is count from your most recent 4 or 5 star item. To get a 4 star, you can have a pity of up to 10 wishes. As soon as you get the 4 star item, whether it be on your 2nd wish, or your 8th wish, or your 10th wish, your pity resets and goes back to zero. This is the same for 5 star items. You can have a maximum pity of 90 wishes, but once you get the 5 star item, whether it be on your 20th or your 90th wish, your pity resets back to zero. Now let's talk about one of the most commonly asked questions I got on my first video. The question is, when am I guaranteed the new 5 star on the limited time banner and when is it a 50-50? For those of you who don't already know, the limited time banner gives the promotional characters, or the characters on the front of the banner, something called a rate up. Essentially what this does is increase the chance of you getting those characters when you pull a 4 or 5 star character. When looking in the details section of the limited time banner, you can see that all the promotional characters have their drop rate increased to 50%. This means that when you get a 4 star or 5 star on this banner, 50% of the time it will be one of the promotional characters, and 50% of the time you will get any of the other characters that are on the banner. However, when it comes to getting the newest 5 star, there is an additional mechanic you need to know. If the last 5 star you got on the limited time banner was not the promotional character, in this case Zhao, then your next 5 star is 100% guaranteed to be the promotional character. If your last 5 star was the promotional character, then the next time you pull a 5 star, you will have a 50-50 chance of getting the new character again, or getting a random 5 star that is also on the banner. Something to keep in mind is that your wishes on previous limited time banners also contribute to this mechanic. For example, if your last 5 star on the limited time banner was Ganyu, the previous promotional character, that means your next 5 star will have the 50-50 chance of getting the new 5 star again or a random 5 star. But if your last 5 star you pulled on the limited time banner was Jean or some other non-promotional character back when the Ganyu banner was out, then your next 5 star is still guaranteed to be the promotional character. Also, as I mentioned before, 
pity on different banners are completely separate. So if you got Gene on the standard banner, it has absolutely no effect on what 5 star you will get on the limited time banner. The final pity mechanic I wanted to talk about is another theory having to do with the soft pity at 75 wishes. In my last video, I suggested that once you hit the 75 wish range, you should only use single wishes to try and minimize the number of wishes you need to use in order to reach 5 star pity. However, another theory suggests you do just the opposite. Because you theoretically have an increased chance of getting a 5 star from wish 75 to 89, it is thought that doing a 10 pull gives you a better chance of getting multiple 5 stars from just a single 10 pull. I'm sure many of you have seen pictures or videos of people pulling 3 5 stars in a single 10 pull all over the internet. This mechanic seems to give the best chance for something like that to occur. This of course is just a theory and I cannot confirm nor deny its reliability. I just thought it's something worth knowing for your future wishing endeavors. If you learned something new from this video or have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Or jump in my chat on Twitch at twitch.tv slash tape. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe below.